Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, it's been nine days now since I got Starlink installed. Um, just wanted to do an update on the speeds I've been getting, any issues we've had so far. Um, and I got an exciting new delivery just now. I got the uh, Ethernet adapter. I uh, haven't seen any other videos on this one on, uh, on YouTube uh, after a little searching, but you do have to have the Ethernet adapter to plug it in any hard line. So, so far I've just had Wi-Fi. But we're going to hook this up and uh, plug it into a, an Ethernet switch to a couple computers and make sure that the uh, Starlink router uh, assigns IP addresses to each device, um, assuming it will, but I uh, haven't really had any detailed instructions on that or seen anything. So we're going to give that a shot, take a look at this. So let's, let's crack this open and take a look at it, see what it looks like. Nothing exciting. It's twenty dollars. Not much for instructions. So that end will go into the router. The antenna will now plug into this instead of the router, and then uh, you get an RJ45 um, connection. So I'm going to hook that up. Uh, also wanted to report on the speeds I've been getting. So here's a. So we're going to focus on this. Here's uh, some speed tests I've done over the week. So that 301 down there at the bottom, that was when I first installed it last Sunday. It's now Tuesday. Uh, and then I've been checking it periodically throughout the week. Um, a lot of 200s, 180, 184. So I only had one that was under 100. That was 77.2 there. What day was that? That was uh, 17th. I can't remember which day that was, but uh, I don't know what was going on at that time. It could have been some movies being streamed on the on our fire sticks. Both of our fire sticks are, are we're using the Wi-Fi for the for their connection. But uh, anyway, looking pretty good. Uh, I don't have anything to report on, ex and my personal knowledge of experiences with uh, any. Uh, issues with the uh, <coughs> outages. Um, let's boot up the app here. Um, stats, usage, uptime, outages. I haven't been, uh, haven't noticed anything that affected my usability for watching shows or running the computer or anything. Uh, this just goes over the last 12 hours, so nobody was even up at that time. So I've never noticed anything that, that uh, caused a, a you know a show to buffer on the where we're streaming off a fire stick, no computers down. So I mean it's been flawless so far. It's been fantastic. So let's uh, let's go plug in this uh, Ethernet adapter, and see how it works. All right, I don't know that it matters. I didn't see anything in instructions, but I'm going to go ahead and unplug the power to the router before I do this, just to be sure that everything's safe. So I just unplugged the power connection, unplug the antenna, so we'll plug that in to there, fits nicely. This will now plug into the router. power back in. Now I've got this going to a little five port switch over on a desk so I'm going to use that for the first test but uh, I've got some other devices throughout the house that I'm going to hook this up to but for now I'm just going to try it on a couple computers so I can do some testing. So I'm going to plug that in. I don't see any lights or activity lights on there. I don't know if it has them. I don't really see that it does have lights, but uh, we'll go get online with it. Look at the uh, Starlink app and also plug in the, uh, on the computers and see if it's uh, shown any activity. So let's go take a look at the computers. All right, I'm plugged in. Let's uh, see if it sees anything yet. So Dell, that would be my desktop computer. 
and it does say wired so it does seem to be making a connection there so now let's check it out on the computer itself all right I'm connected let's do a speed test on the desktop it does say I'm connected to Starlink so that's good all right, let's go. Slightly slower speeds than I've been seeing, so I'm going to do another one on the Wi Fi as soon as we get done here, see if that's any different. Upload speeds a little better than I generally see all right so 138 down 15 up let's do another test with the uh, Wi-Fi while I'm on it right here so same time frame <coughs> That's interesting. Getting quite a bit faster on the Wi-Fi. I wonder if that has something to do with the little uh, Ethernet switch I'm running it through. We'll do another one when I'm done with this on the wired connection. See what it looks like. So upload is the same. Download was quite a bit faster. Let's do another test. See what it does. And eh, now it's getting up there. Huh, it's pretty good upload speed. Okay, so it works. Let me uh I'm going to plug in another computer and just make sure that it'll assign an IP address to the second computer. Um, put it on a laptop. So give me a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got a, my laptop plugged in now. That's this uh, Lenovo Yoga. So it did recognize another computer. Connected. Give me an IP address. Looking good. Um, did log in here. Now my old computer just kept it, called it my old um, network name. This one actually renamed it Space Internet. That's what I've got it called. So now let's do a speed test on the laptop. Interesting. Downloads kind of all over the place. Let's do another one right now. Back to back. See what we get. Or not. Once this one finishes up, I'll uh, I'll pause it, wait five minutes, ten minutes, and then I'll run another one and see what it does. But uh, so it kind of jumps around a little bit, but not really the point of this test. That uh, Ethernet adapter works fine.
just run that out of that into your uh, Ethernet switch. The, the Starlink router will do the HCP for you. Uh, maybe we'll do a test on uh, giving myself my own IP address and make sure that works fine. Um, I haven't logged into the deeper interface if there is such a thing on the on the router, but uh, let's uh, let's assign my laptop here its own IP address and see what uh, see what it does. Properties. I'll just give myself an IP. Two one six eight dot one dot two. Let's do thirty nine. Don't know if I need a gateway. Let's throw it in there anyways. One nine two one six eight one dot one. Close. All right. Let's uh, check the status. So I do have the IP. 1.139 let's take a look at the Starlink app um, now it says unknown device it doesn't didn't recognize it now as a as my yoga but let's take a look hmm so it worked and it's 239 but it just says unknown device now it used to know that it was a yoga a Lenovo so that's interesting but it's working Just for kicks. Now we'll do another uh, speed test. The static IP. Uh oh. Could not connect to the test server. Interesting. Oh, this says I don't have internet. Hmm. So that's fascinating. I do not have internet access when I sign my own IP address. I'm gonna have to research that. So internet not working with my uh, static IP address. Uh, status. Diagnose. Let's try that. See what that does. DHCP is not enabled. So just for kicks, let's go back to uh, DHCP on that. We'll switch it back to DHCP. Close. Alright, so now it gave me an address of 110. I think that's what I was before. Retry. Hmm. So, so far with the static IP address, if I give myself a static IP, it doesn't work. Let's uh, try another speed test. Hmm. Well, that could be an issue for me because I do have some it items that I want on a static IP address, so I'm gonna have to delve deeper into that. Um, see what I can do. Hmm. <coughs> I haven't tried yet. I wonder if I can access the router through uh, oops, through a web browser. That looks just like the app. Oh, it just takes you to Starlink.com. All right, well, I haven't had any luck figuring that one out. I've tried it a number of times. Uh, I've sent a uh, tech support request to Starlink on their uh, website. So if I get a response back from that with any success, I will update everybody to uh, so you know how to use a static IP address on your local LAN. But, uh, but uh, there's your update. Uh, if things works 
good other than the static IP issue. Um, Ethernet adapter works. I got uh, DHCP. Uh, speeds are good. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll give anybody an update if I get anything uh, anything new. Um, thanks for watching.